what I came out here for for cottontails and At least I've seen a rabbit already, that was fast. Dropped him, that was quick, wasn't expecting him. Oh man, where'd my shell go? And that one caught me off guard. I thought I just saw something run. Well, I've only been hunting for about five minutes and didn't get a shot at the first one, but got this guy. Oh, nice. Fortunately, I don't have my vest today, so I gotta use this drawstring bag to carry rabbits. I don't think it'll fit. It'll fit five if they're all this size, but I don't think it'll fit five. But who knows? It's been a while since I got five in a single day out here. I am uh, hunting alone today. Uh, like I said, no vest, which is kind of annoying. But um, I did get here a little bit later than I want to, even though it doesn't seem to be a problem so far. Um, I got here like 5.30 and then I got to get my stuff out, put on my boots. Uh, you know, get the GoPro set up, make sure I bring my batteries. That's kind of a pain in the ass to do. But, but yeah, man, the sun was already up when I got here. So. Who knows? Uh, the spot I actually typically see most of the rabbits, I do have to walk a ways to get to. But there's rabbits all over out here. And last time I came out here, I was with my brother. We were definitely uh, moving a little fast, making a lot of noise, even though we did well. I mean, considering how many shots we we missed, they were real easy shots or just little mistakes, but we were moving fast, making a lot of noise. I think today I'm gonna try to slow it down a little. The sunrise looks pretty cool. Jeez. Huh. Well, if there's any stragglers in here. Man, that group let me get close. Now, it's nice out right now, but I can feel it's gonna be hot. And I need to try to beat that sun because Once it gets up a little higher and I'm up here down the creek bed, it's like you cannot look to your right at all or you'll be blinded. Oh, that's not a rabbit. Oh, that's not a rabbit.
No. I cannot tell if this is a rabbit. It's odd that it would stay still so long. Yep, that was not a rabbit. And I'm sure that's, that one was. Oh, oh damn it. Oh, there's two out of the same bush. God damn it. I should have been ready. I thought I would have scared them off though. He's in that bush, I could barely see him moving. So there were two in this bush, one went straight, one went right into here, and this one I could see, he was good. Let's see if maybe he'll come out this backside. He's in here. Huh. He's in here, but he could easily have a hole in here that he just went into. Without a dog, I don't really know how to approach it. Oh no, I hit him. Yeah. Let's see if he was the big one. I wasn't too confident on that shot because that shot was fast. Now he's small. So I don't know if this bigger one is still hanging out deep in this bush or what, but two rabbits so far, not bad. Not bad. I mean, at least they're moving. Okay, so so far we're taking three shots. We got two rabbits. I did shoot at what I thought was a rabbit, ended up being ended up being a stick. Which I hope the GoPro picked up the overall shape. Like the outline sitting around the edge of the bush on the road. It looked exactly like a rabbit. Ears and everything, because if I didn't pick up the <laughs> The silhouette with the GoPro, or the GoPro is at a little different angle. It's gonna make me look kind of stupid. Obviously don't shoot at something if you're not sure, but I was very confident that was a rabbit. So I have a general idea where I wanna go. I'm gonna just start going straight up this way because although this side always seems to hold more rabbits, it's gonna be too difficult to hunt into the sun. I noticed the last time when me and my brother came out here, we were seeing more rabbits on our walk back. So. Oh. Huh, okay. There's a rabbit up here. He ran down into here. I never saw him come out this side. So. He's gone. He could have came straight down to here and then gone back up. 
I thought I heard something run over here, but again, tough to look straight into that sun. I probably could have just taken that shot, but he was already in that bush. Whew. So, I want to hunt out there towards that tree way back there and then walk my way back this way. But I think I'm going to get up here, walk down on the tall part, and then find a way to get down at that point. All right, so I finally made it down to the creek bed. Going to drop down and start uh, making my way back. Okay. Man, that guy ran far. I did see a cottontail straight between all these bushes past this tree. Well, at least they're out here still. So I'm pretty sure that rabbit had come right through here. But, you know, where to go next? Who knows? Jesus, dude, my ankles are just gone today. And this sand is like real loose. I'm not going through that. Not a lot of dove out today. <sighs> that could have been a lot worse. see a coyote. I'm not sure if that's a coyote or a... That could have been a fox. Man, when I was down there, I kept thinking I heard something out in front of me. Let's see. Oh, there he is. Yes. Yeah. And man, he just disappeared. I have no idea where he is now. I mean, this guy was like right down in here when he popped up. But he doesn't seem that worried about me. I'm going to take a break. I'm going to sit down right here and watch him for a while. He went down into the ravine, I think, and I haven't seen him since. All right, so that was pretty cool. I watched that coyote for a while. He, uh, I thought, I, I just assumed he knew I was here. I thought that I'd scared him out of the bushes, but... I don't know, I squatted down and he really wasn't worried about me. He was just kind of hanging out, going up and down the creek bed, looking at stuff. The only time he really acknowledged me is when the GoPro would make its beeping noises, but yeah, he's long gone now, too far for me to see. So I'm gonna start heading back the way I came. So I don't know if the GoPro was rolling or not, but I was down in this creek bed way down there. And I guess there was a spot in the middle of it where the ground was a little bit higher because the water kind of separates into two different different creeks at some points and so there's a high point in the middle I had no idea I was just standing there you know I'm not really looking at the floor that much I'm looking around for a looking way in front of me for rabbits I'm just standing there and then out of nowhere it feels like the floor just disappears and man, I fell I probably dropped a good foot and a half it was just that loose sand gravel kind of dry dirt I stand on and it just disappeared out from under me actually uh Two things kind of saved me though. I had these two rabbits in this little backpack, which really protected my lower back because there was a rock right behind me. I hope I didn't just completely crush these rabbits. And two, I only fell down about, you know. Probably a foot straight down because it was kind of at a weird angle, which kind of slowed me down. So I didn't like just fall flat on my back. I kind of hit my butt and then my back, it wasn't too bad, but. Anyways, though, I'm just going to keep going back this way. Um, I didn't really have much of any luck over here with rabbits. I saw one. I saw one jackrabbit. But anyways, yeah, we're going to go back here to where, you know, we've been seeing rabbits, where we typically shoot most of the rabbits. And I've taken a break. I feel a little bit more energy. My back's hurting a little bit now, but yeah, hopefully we'll get on to at least one or two more rabbits. Oh. 
Yeah, I could have popped him and I would like a jackrabbit today, but... Oh, there's... Fuck. That jackrabbit spooked a cottontail. Yeah, I could have shot that jackrabbit, but... And while I do like them, I'd rather get cottontails today. And only have a limited amount of room in this bag before I have to start carrying stuff in my hands. Shit, fucking dove, man. It scared the shit out of me. All right, time to just keep moving on. Man, I'm just out of it today. I could have taken both those rabbits. They, they weren't too far. Those really easy shots. stuff and see what comes to me. Oh, he saw me that time. But he's looking away. He's looking away. What I'm going to do, I'm going to stop recording right now. I'm going to try to hide and just see if they end up coming by me because there are at least two of them I saw. Okay, so I've been sitting here for about 20 minutes now. I never saw where the small coyote went, but the big one climbed up. I have to assume he knew I was here because I was only about 30 yards from him. And so he climbed up. He looked back. It looked like he looked right at me. He kind of, he didn't run off. He just slowly started walking off. And then 10 minutes later, I saw him pop up again, like right over here. He kind of looked over this way again. Um, I figured they were going to go along here, come back down, and then go to water. But you know, I never saw them. Now the downside is, if these coyotes have been <laughs> working down this creek bed, I bet the rabbits are kind of tucked in right now, but... Cool though, I guess I'll just go back down and keep doing what I'm doing. My chances of seeing more rabbits kind of... Feels like it just dropped quite a bit. So it's three for sure coyotes I've seen today. And I know they're all different. It's just, yeah. I guess I'm going to be doing some predator hunting soon. We've definitely seen a good mix of uh, game today, though. saw just the top of his ears. Oh man, another one. He's still there. I had to have hit him. He was kind of hidden, but I had to have gotten him. Okay. This guy's still going. I'm going to dispatch him real quick. All right, so it's number three. He was small. I thought he was bigger. I mean, I could I could see his ears on the top, and then I could see his body in there. I mean, I was what, in between those trees, so not that far. I probably could have got that first guy, too. I keep overestimating the distance on these shots. But it's number three for today. Um... That's a good sign. I was really worried with the amount of coyotes I've seen moving around right now that they had spooked everything. Doesn't seem to be the case. One nice thing about when it gets real bright outside is, man, you can see those cottontail ears. Those pink ears stand out so well. Those pink ears and the white tail, man. Dead giveaways. I'll tell you what, dude. If dove season was open right now, I would have a full bag Gonna go try to hit up the same spot that last time we were here. I got two rabbits with one shot just off a of fluke. Super lucky. 
But maybe I'll leave my lucky spot. Pretty sure I shot directly when he got behind the thickest part of the tree. He was right there. I... Oh, another one ran. Man, I totally hesitated because he was just so close. I didn't want to just destroy him. Hopefully the GoPro can pick it up, but he was sitting right there. I mean, less than 10 yards from me. Let's see, where'd my shell go? So there's him and then one ran back there. And I'm taking, oh, there it is. One of those things where he, if he was like five yards further, it wouldn't have been too close. I could have just popped him right there. Oh, oh, you got to be kidding me. I popped him through all that. He got, it looked like one shot hit him right in the head. Okay, I'm going to dispatch him and make sure he's all good to go. All right, so yeah, hard to see. He was sitting right back in there. When I shot, he was directly behind the thickest part of the bush. So I thought, uh, you know, that probably took all the shot. He probably got away fine. I didn't want to shoot him back in there because he was really only like nine yards from me. I feel like I would have just hammered him and just, you know, I don't want to kill something and destroy the meat and just be a complete waste. There's no point in that. But no, nah, he was down right over here. I guess he just hopped through at the perfect angle and one caught him behind the head. So. It's number four. And uh, it looks like I'll probably actually get a limit today. Great, I just saw my bag starting to rip, so I might have to find a different way to carry these. That's kind of annoying, but. Yep, all good. And uh, one did run back there when I shot. I saw him run bush to bush, so. Maybe I'll slowly walk over there. I still want to go up there. That's where last time I got that double shot. Those uh, two running rabbits, got them with one shell. If you haven't seen that, you should check that out down to my last battery thought I was already on my last battery but hopefully we can get that uh, last rabbit on a on camera get that limit I mean if you have a orchard somewhere that you hunt you can probably limit out on your cottontail and you know an hour easy but for me on this public land on a warm day what's really saving me right now actually is there is a nice breeze coming through here. So, give me that energy to push through for that last. That last rabbit. So I heard something in the distance, not really sure what that sound is. And this is a very rare day that now that I think about it, I don't think I've missed a shot. I think on at least two of the rabbits I thought I probably missed and ended up hitting them, so that's always nice. I'll tell you, at this point I'm pretty committed to getting my limit. I don't care if I have to walk back to spots where I know I saw. Oh, it's quail. Well, let's see if we can get them to jump. I, there's still some down here, I'm pretty sure I can hear them moving. But most of them are up in there. Oh, there's, they split off. Hey, not a bad group for it back here. They're still stragglers, I bet, yeah. It's funny about quail, man. There's always one or two that... They're the last ones to leave. I don't know what that's all about. Well... I'm walk back around and go down. I really, I feel like I can get that that last one out of here. No, I'm getting low on footage time, but yeah, I think I can get it. I think I'm gonna work through this and start going the same way I came in. Try to focus on that first tree that always seems to have a rabbit. I guess I did already shoot one out of there today, but. I don't see why there wouldn't be room for two. 
if I don't get anything on that, I'm just going to follow this all the way out. If I don't get anything, I don't get anything. It's not looking great. All right. Time to start walking back. And I was feeling bad about that shell I couldn't find, and I'm walking back, and look at that. That's mine. That's nice. I don't like leaving my empty shells out here and just, you know, making it more messy than it already is. I see one. I see one. I'm going to try to take a pretty long shot. If he hasn't moved already. Did I miss? I didn't even see him move. Here's my shell. I don't know. He might have completely missed him. Oh no, he's down. No? Yeah? Maybe? Alright, so here's our last one. He is smaller than I thought he was. He looked like a good size. He was sitting right in here. I was backing out this clump behind that clump, so decent range and put them down pretty good. Um, yeah, I would have liked maybe one a little bigger for my last one, but hey, they all taste good. So pretty close. I can almost, I can barely see the shimmer of my car out there. So it's getting hot. I'm gonna stop recording. I'm gonna try to hurry up and get back. Hopefully this bag makes it. I mean, this bag's getting pretty heavy and. That rip. Yeah. Alright, so we're back at the car. Um, took me a while to get get back. I was getting pretty tired, trying to get hot out here. But here's what we got. No five cottontails. Uh, one or two of them are you know pretty small, but for the most part decent size. Be real good for eating. See it's uh 1026, so I got out here around 5.30, but it took me a while before I started hunting. So, I don't know, about five hours. Not bad. A lot of exploring. We saw lots of dove, lots of quail. Um, three separate coyotes, which was pretty cool. And two of them were together, which is something I don't typically see out here. So next time, I'll for sure, I'll come out here and I'll do some uh, predator hunting. But for now, this is what I came out here for, for cottontails. And, you know, can't be mad at that, limited out.